and welcome to the Cornwall Reports News Briefing for Thursday the 19th of September. The local media headlines today. It's polling day in Falmouth. Voters have until 10 o'clock tonight to decide who should replace Labour councillor Jane Kirkham now that she's an MP. There's no Conservative candidate, so it's between Labour, Green or Liberal Democrat. It's the first test of public opinion in Cornwall since the government scrapped universal winter fuel allowances for pensioners. Meanwhile, County Hall's Tories were left bemoaning the fact that nobody really gives a monkeys what they think about anything anymore, if indeed they do think anything at all. Certainly no Cabinet members thought to ask why the Council's financial strategy now is to put itself deeper in debt for longer than anyone had previously thought possible. And that's the way the money goes on the Mid Cornwall Metro. Newquay Railway Station's second platform will be arriving soon. The BBC reported the return to Cornwall of Olympic gold medalist Morgan Boulding. The rower returned to the Castle Door Club near Foy, where he learned his sport as a youngster. There's a lot going on in the world right now, but the huge fires which are devastating Portugal caught the eye of the Cornish Times, which reports a fundraising appeal in Bodmin. Greatest Hits Radio quoted the Child Poverty Action Group report on the need for more and better free school meals. The Falmouth Packet caught up with that story about Truro and Morlaix in France renewing their twinning vows. And finally, Cornwall Live shares the concern of Colleen Rooney that husband Wayne is becoming a bit tubby in middle age. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.